are here to stay. So let's talk about the best practices for utilizing that HSA bank account. First off, it's probably important that you understand what is an HSA. And an HSA is a separate bank account that you use to pre-fund future medical expenses. The whole principle behind having a separate bank account that qualifies as an HSA bank account is that when you do have a claim, because you will have one eventually, you have that money in your bank account to help pay for the claim. So you're not in a bad spot financially and that money is there for you to help fund that expense. Now, if you're in a position where you're not able to financially commit every single week or every single month a regular expense, still keep the bank account open, the HSA account open, because when you do have a claim, you can funnel money into that bank account and then funnel it out to pay for the claim for a tax incentive. Managing HSAs aren't as complicated as you may think. So the best practice that you can do, the number one thing that you can do with your HSA account is make the expense traceable. What do I mean by that? When you pay for your prescriptions or you pay for a medical bill, don't use cash. Use the debit card that the bank account provides or a check because then it becomes traceable and you can trace that when you file your taxes. Now, bonus tip on the HSA. You can use your HSA money on dental and vision expenses. You can even use it if you don't have dental and vision insurance. That is a qualified medical expense. The second bonus tip on the HSA practice is that you can use that money on other dependents in your household even if they aren't on your insurance. So if your spouse or if your kiddos are on a separate plan, you can still use that money in a qualified way on medical expenses for their needs. Any specific questions on HSAs, we recommend you call your local financial institution or you can call us and we can guide you in the direction on resources available for HSA accounts.